is a woman and it's made by Matt Walsh. Let's find out if he knows what a woman is or if anybody else on earth knows what a woman is. We're gonna find out and y'all are gonna find out too with me. Let's do this. From the minute I was assigned female, I was told, okay, these are the kind of clothing that you're going to wear. The these are the kind of, the, the type of play that you're going to engage in as a child. This lady's special in the head or something. I just had to say that, man. Like, that lady's crazy as shit. What the hell? That woman needs some Jesus. Some women have penises, right? Some men have vaginas. Um. All right, guys, listen to me. Whatever you're born as, that's what you are. Don't matter if you chop your dick or not. Okay. Hearing from transgender people who've said, like, oh, I'm a trans woman, um, and just because I happen to have a penis, right, that doesn't mean that this is, like, who I am as a person, um, or, or that genitalia doesn't equal gender. Mm. What hell am I watching? But if they're all women, and also the boy who sits down with you and says, I, I think I'm a girl, actually is one, then, then what is a woman? Mm. Great question. I'm not a woman, so I, I can't really answer that. Okay, I think the whole reason why she don't think she's a lady anymore is because she's ugly and she couldn't get a decent dude, all right? Now she went all batshit crazy with hormones and all that. Now she thinks she's a lady boy. So I think her hormones are imbalanced or something. She's like she's mentally handicapped. That lady needs some Jesus. Let's get back to the movie. I thought therapy would make me less confused. Am I the only one feeling this way? I need to hit the road and find out. What the hell am I watching? What is a woman? Y'all are all... You see these bitches? Okay? They are all women. Look at this shirt. I support single moms. Alright, even if they ugly and a little fat, they don't make you a dude. Can just wear a strap on and say you a man. A woman? <laughs> I don't want to assume. But you guys are all yeah. women? Yeah, we're, all women. Yes, we're yeah. women. So how would you define it, like in the simplest terms? That is hard. Yeah, it is. It is a stumper. Defining womanhood. Okay, I don't I don't want to look at this nasty ass dude wearing a dress. Bruh. If you want to be gay, just be gay. It's okay. Just you ain't no woman if you take it up to butt. Just cause you would dude you a dude. You just gay. Alright? It's a simple question. So why is it so hard to answer? Uh, oh my God, this is the lady boy. See, that's why you don't trust no uh, public. You're a woman. They could right. all be Decepticon, all right? Okay, folks, whoever the hell has made it to this point in this video watching this shit, that lady has cut off over 2,000 Okay, you stay away from that bitch. This lady needs to go to, like, maximum security prison for penis cutting and offing. And this is all constructed from the penis? What? Yes, that's right. The surgeries are quite refined in the sense that they really, the not only do they look... Okay, folks. I just vomited in my mouth. This lady says she cuts off the penis and turns it into a vagina. That still means you got a d You just got to cut up that's turned inside out. You're still a dude. All right? And now these people cannot go back to what they was. Just remember that. This is like a permanent thing. That, that shit's gone. They cut that shit off. Alright? And turn it inside out. They mutilated you. You need to sue this doctor lady. Right now. Does anyone ever regret their surgeries? Or, well, we know they do, but how often do people regret their surgeries? Well, actually, we don't know that they do. There are legitimate detransitioners. And there are people who truly feel that in their journey, they may have made a mistake. Now... Fortunately, this is a really, really... Folks, this is why we need Jesus in our homes. Mothers, buy your children Bibles. Teach them to read it at night before bed. Get some Jesus in their soul, because this world has gone to hell. I ain't never seen no crazy stuff like this on, on this documentary. I don't even know if they're being serious right now. Like, this shit is so wild to hear. They could be punking me right now. But if this is real and this lady cut off over 2,000 dudes' junks and turned them into ladies. This woman mutilated you. You need to seek real therapists, not, not none of this binary cisgender. There's only two genders, a male and a female. Get that through your mind. If you think anything else, you You don't see any 
You think this is totally irrelevant? Yep. So, the biggest, broadest question is... What the hell? What is a woman? A woman is a... You know, it's a combination of your physical attributes and then what, what the you're showing to that? the world and the gender clues that you give. And hopefully those match your gender identity. The critics on the other side of this, of, uh, of, this, of this issue. There aren't many, but go ahead. There aren't many who... Okay, I, I officially am calling it. This lady is high on crack cocaine. Would disagree with what you're saying about... Well, you know, the dinosaurs of the world are certainly out there. Hmm. Yeah. What the... How long have you been uh, running the shop here? 25 years. Now, you had an incident here a little while ago that went really viral online. Lots of reactions. She needs in the Jesus. Aberdeen Councilwoman Tiesa Meskis confronted owner Don Sucre about a sign he posted in his store. One day, I just put the sign up over here, and uh, he came around the corner, and I thought, OK, I recognize him. I says, uh, oh, I recognize you. You're our new city councilman. He says, no, I'm your new city councilwoman. So it was, it was kind of on from there. You know what? It's bullshit. No, what you're spouting is bullshit. Uh, no, it's not. Trans it women are women, sir. That sign is bullshit. I've been doing this 25 years. I've never had a problem with anybody. With okay, I think, I think this mentally handicapped lady needs to leave this old fella alone. Like, th this is obviously a dude, all right, trying to dress up as some woman. That's why we need to bring back insane asylums. This is a dude, not a lady. Remember that. He's a lady boy. You're not a gender studies major. Or are you? No. no? Okay. How do you know that you're a man? How do I know that I'm a man? I guess because I got a dick. God bless him. Somebody needs to get this man an award, a trophy. He needs to be like the front and center stage of a parade just for him. My name is Michelle Forcier, um, and I have a medical degree from University there you go. of Connecticut Residency, <laughs> University of Utah Pediatrics, and I've worked for a number of different Planned Parenthoods for 20 years. When the, when the doctor sees the penis and says, this is a male, has the sex of male, that's an arbitrary distinction. Telling that family based on that little penis. And this person is supposed to be a professional? World need Jesus. God, please save our souls. We dang sure need it. So what is gender affirmation care? You're a big proponent of. If we walk through, yeah. a child is sitting down with you, is questioning yeah. their gender. What's the gender affirmation process? Affirmation means that as a pediatrician, as someone who says my job is to provide the best medical care for you, what? is I need to listen really carefully. And how I put it in words for kids so that they can what the understand. What wrong with this lady? Is, Tell me your story. Have you ever met a four-year-old who believes in Santa Claus? Mm-hmm. Would you say that this is someone who maybe has a tenuous grasp on reality? They have an appropriate four-year-old handle on the sure. reality Agreed. that's very real for them. Agreed. Agreed. But Santa Claus is real for them, but yeah. Santa Claus is not actually real. Yeah, well, and, but Santa Claus does deliver their Christmas presents. Okay, he's talking about, I'm about to break down and cry. They talk about hurting these little four-year-old kids and shit. As young as four years old and younger. That's what this doctor lady says she operating on and stuff. How you gonna hurt that kid like that? I can't even watch this. If this is real, like, these are crimes that are happening, people. I believe they hurting these little kids. It's hard to define reality in Hollywood. I should probably look to the place where truth is the foremost pursuit. The American University. What we do in, in gender studies is not just reduce gender to what psychologists might call individual differences, but rather thinking about gender, and that's not women and men. We need the emotional damage thing to just be playing this whole fucking time, anytime says anything. Just emotional damage. Just throwing the hat down, all right? Like this, I, I want like an emotional damage counter uh, in the top, right up here. This, this cannot be real. Man, but These people is that as crazy. As social Guarantee none of them graduated like from school. Infuses itself Ain't nobody that crazy. All aspects of social life. Well, let's talk about that then. Uh, 
I guess we should start. None with of them probably the had father gender figures gender in incest. the household. Grew up with single moms, banging a bunch of random dudes in the household, then dumping them like a week later once they found out they didn't have a bunch of money. And then you went through that cycle your whole life. Now you think that that's how you're going to live, or you didn't like that, so now you change yourself to a lady boy after seeing what your parents went through. Everybody goes through shit. Just because you cut it off don't mean it ain't you ain't still a dude. What, what's the difference between the two? Is there a difference? I saw that in your questions, and I thought, my goodness, this is what we spend an entire semester kind of thinking through. But what we tend to think about in the social sciences today is that sex refers to a set of biological characteristics. Gay and gender is a social construct or category. What I think is often misleading about that character. I guarantee you that Dr. Dude right there is gay. And like he's the type of gay where he gets the deposit made in his butt. Like he's taking it, he ain't giving nothing. No wonder why he'd want to turn himself to a woman. He's used to getting banged from behind. Nasty. That's disgusting. Why the hell is this even a movie? These people need jail. When you split them up into these wholly discrete constructs, study scholars, and, and really more specifically people who study gender and sex. We're not talking about sexuality right now. In the kind of academic universe that I travel in is that we see how deeply gendered ideas, um, cultural ideas about masculine, uh, feminine, maleness, and femaleness. Gonna need a whole fifth of Jack to finish watching animals. this. So are gender and sex two different things, or? Well, I think that they they both are and they aren't. I be I'm comfortable saying that gender and sex are hearing a whole lot of nothing, but they're deeply intertwined with each other. I'm just I'm just trying to start by getting to the truth, you know. Yeah, I mean, I'm really uncomfortable with that language of like g getting to the truth again. In social why, why life, is why is that uncomfortable? Because that it sounds actually deeply transphobic to me. Um, and the if truth? you and, and if you keep probing, we're gonna stop the interview. I if I probe about what the truth is, you keep invoking the word truth, which is condescending and rude. I'm saying is, to you, how is the word truth condescending and rude? Why don't you tell me what your truth is, and you're walking on thirty seconds more of the ice before I get up. Why well, can't these people truth? actually well, say a regular have, answer? I think that there's just the these people are talking like they're twenty-year politicians trying to avoid a serious answer. Like I am so frustrated right now by watching this. Like this can't be real. The truth. Let's get back to the it. Reality. And so, we should begin by trying to figure out what the reality is. Uh huh. And why are you concerned with when someone else tells you that they're a man? Or even if they use the word male, why are you concerned with not believing? What them? the fuck is going on? Does this person not understand? Like he literally just shit talked himself. Like these people are that dumb. I might lose my damn mind watching this. Why do you ask that question? I just really like to know. What do you think the answer to that question is? Well, I'm, I'm asking. That's why I came to a college professor who, who's, who this is your, this is what you do. What other kinds of answers have you gotten? A lot of like this where you're, where you're not answering. I've gotten a lot of that, so. I think it's interesting that you, that you say that some of the people you've, you've um, interviewed have been just uh, reluctant to answer. All right, just answer the question. We can handle the truth. What is a woman? You ready? Let's all find out together. And I think that has a lot to do with the way, the questions that preceded it and the, the way that you've conducted yourself in the interview. How have I conducted myself? How do you think you've conducted yourself? <laughs> you just really don't want to answer the questions, do you? I, I came today very willing and... and, and Yo, hold on, hold on. He just said this guy's a college professor? He's probably warped the minds of thousands of people. And they're thinking that they're lady boys now or whatever. No, the, I don't care if this guy's got tenure or whatever, fire him. All right, get him out, get him away from them kids. Save the kids, hide your wife, hide your kids. Hide your kids, hide your wife, hide your kids, hide your wife. What am I even, I'm literally melting my own brain watching this. It's a feeling. It's a way of identifying. It's a. It's an experience. Okay, that's that's subjective. 
it sounds like what you're saying is that if a man is male but thinks of himself as a woman, he's not actually a woman? That's correct. This is the only time in this movie I've heard facts, all right? That a woman is a woman and a man is a man because of chromosomes. See? Just because y'all live in magical fairy tale land and y'all want to be a bunch of prince and pony fa whatever, that's fine. Just do it in your own home where people can't see that nasty shit. If I, if I see a chicken laying eggs and I say that's a female chicken laying eggs, did I assign female or am I just observing a physical reality that's happening in the world? Does a chicken have gender identity? Does a chicken cry? Well, a Does chi a chicken commit suicide? Let's frame it because you're talking. You're trying. Yeah, a chicken to, has sex, like any like any biological organism. A chicken has organism. an assigned gender, but a chicken doesn't have a gender identity. So we Hold on, we already talked to this crazy lady. Why is she coming back? And she just said her, it's a constellation, bitch. We ain't talking about the stars in the night sky. We're talking about what is a woman? Ain't no way that. Okay, okay, she said, does a chicken commit suicide? Yes, I've seen a chicken commit suicide. A chicken walk right up to a pack of dogs, and it got got, okay? It got ate up or right then and there. So it committed suicide, yes. I've personally seen that. That I competed against a transgender athlete was during my freshman year. And once the gun went off, the two transgender athletes took off well, hell yeah, you're a woman. Ain't no way you're going to be out outdo a man in a competition of strength while he's trained his muscles for years. The best woman versus the best man at anything. Right? The man's going to win damn near every single time. Maybe at like cooking food or something. Best at birthing kids because you're a real woman and you can actually have kids. Yeah, that's what a woman is. Lady boys in your competitions ruining everything. The spirit of the competition ain't no more. Nobody got no honor nowadays. Your parents, you need to whoop the at your kids if they start acting like this. Flying and left all of us girls in the dust. For about all four years of high school, I was forced to compete against biological males. I only competed against them in the sprinting events, but I raced against these athletes over a dozen times throughout the years, and every single time I lost. Did, did they inch you out of medals that you would have won otherwise or trophies you would have they won? They beat me out by 20 meters. See, listen to this poor lady's story. She couldn't even compete in her own event that she's really good at because two gay dudes who want to pretend to be women got in there and took that shit from her. She worked for years, her whole life to get in there. Because you know what? Men are stronger than women. That's just a fact of life. And that's what happens. That's what you're going to get whenever you let all these sissy boys take over all your shit. You need to kick them in the nuts. I would have been able to qualify. So I missed out on so much throughout my high school career. Case in Connecticut, there were two male track runners. Transition. They were trans girls. Right. And who, who decided that um, they were going to race against the girls. And you look at the, those individuals, you look at their times against the men, against the boys. So they were kind of middle of the pack. And then they're racing the girls and they're, you know, first and second place. Is that indicative of some kind of unfair advantage that those individuals might have against the girls? No, it's not indicative of an unfair advantage. It's a funny thing. You ever notice all these people are f that are talking and letting all these lady boys join the competitions? First, it was like the gay doctor guy who teaches in college and teaches people how to suck apparently or whatever and pretend to be lady boys. Now we got this fat chode right here who probably has been a Peter Puffer since his teenage days. I don't even see a ring on his finger. How you gonna be gay as shit and have a lot of money and still not be married? That's sad. Nasty ass lady boys. And I think part of the proof of this is that more transgender girls are coming out in high school and still playing sports and they're not winning. You know, the Connecticut case is the exception. Like, I ain't no woman beater or nothing. I'm just saying, if a woman challenges me, a man, to a competition in a fight, I'm not gonna lose, I'm just saying. It'd probably take like five women to beat me down, if I'm being honest, all right? Like, dudes are stronger than women. So I don't know why you would allow them in your competitions. And you get rid of all these lady boys. I don't even feel sorry for y'all no more for letting them in there. It's your own fault at this point. If 
there was a big advantage to being transgender in sports, then we would see transgender women totally dominate. And over the last half of the pool, nobody will touch Leah Thomas. I feel like a woman. I guarantee you this Leah Thomas fella was really shitty in the dudes competitions and he probably had a tiny and he couldn't get no so that's what made him want to be a cross-dressing dude and do and go to these women's swimming competitions but that lady boy took everything from you and y'all just let him do it so I don't feel no sadness for you crying on the movie right now if this is even real. Video of spa goers complaining was posted on social media. I just want to be clear with you. It's okay. It's okay for a man to go into the women's section, show his penis around the other women, young little girls under age. Your spa, we spa, condone that. Is that what you're saying? Like I asked. It's so he, so he can stay there. He could stay there. <laughs> sexual orientation. They should be arrested for exposure in front of children. The world don't need no kitty diddlers like that. See a dick. Police identified the person involved as 52-year-old Darren Moreger of Riverside County. Moreger, who has been a registered sex offender since 2006, now. Ooh, I hope they arrest his ass and send him to federal prison for doing all that nasty shit. Yes, you are the first member of Congress who's a member of the LGBT community and also a person of Asian descent. You're also a big proponent of the Equality Act. Yes. Um, what is the Equality Act? If you were to just summarize it very briefly, I know it does a lot. The most simplest way to talk about the Equality Act is that... It All right, fellas, if y'all are still watching at this point, this is an actual politician, so let's see how crazy this can get. Let's get into more specific policy issues. There, there are some women who say, and I've, I've talked to a few who say this, they say even that the penis is a telltale sign that someone is a male. How do we account for that? How do you respond to that? Um, well, uh, every politician ever always trying to subvert the question and, or not answering or just saying, um, until somebody else takes over for him or tells them the interview is over. What the hell is a woman, folks? We can't get an honest answer from anybody on this show. Um, well, what I would say is that uh, most transgender people uh, that I know, um, and it's a very, I think, distinct minority of people it's a very it's a it is a it is a very i think uh we're talking not about a lot of people um i think a person who wants to use a woman's bathroom who identifies as transgender really does think of themselves as a female so how we go about trying to um you know uh, respect their basic right to live i think will be an important an important part of this law and um the bathrooms law. well wait a minute. Ba bathrooms are bathrooms are you know where do you want to take this conversation instead of the basic right to just life is something that i'm kind of mystified why are you subverting kind of the question kind of first so we're going straight to controversy over bathrooms um hmm. so you know what i think this exactly i knew this <laughs> bastard politician was going to do some shit like this folks never trust a politician never you it's over yeah yeah i think i think this interview is over i just said one last question uh what, no i i, I what, the interview is over you want to know cameras. what what is a woman please let's turn off the cameras Excuse me. so we're gonna end the interview if you guys could please come up and return the office i just wanted to know I came all this way to know what. Thank you. Fair I just wanted to know what is a woman. And you're not going to find out. I called it before I even seen it. I... Why are you asking a gay man as to what it means to be a woman? You should be asking women what it means to be a woman, especially trans women. Oh, that's that's a dude lady. I'm asking all kinds of people. She probably got yeah, her shit cut off by that doctor lady earlier in the movie. Are you a uh, cat? <laughs> no. <laughs> the Can you tell me what a cat is?
This is actually a genuine mistake. I am sorry. That's what you get, you stupid ass lady boy, looking stupid as shit. Oh my god, I wonder how many people done seen this video. What, what is a woman? Can you tell me that? Of course, they got all these dumbass bindo broads who probably went to college just to suck a bunch of party. They're probably living off their parents' money, never paid or worked for a thing in their whole life. Oh, well, you're at the Women's March, you must have Look at all here. these dumbass bimbos. I guarantee you, they didn't get tore up by like 40 guys this week between so, the whole group of them. See, girl. <laughs> what the hell is going on? Please, if one person can tell me what a woman is. Do you guys know what a woman is by any chance? No idea. What? How can you I not know what a woman is? America. Maybe I'm looking too close to home. I guarantee you, not one of these people over in Africa think a dude dressed up as a lady is a lady. So thank you for inviting us into your tribe, first of all. I can say it is my pleasure to, to meet you and uh, feel most welcome, but uh, you're here to learn with me. I'm here to learn with you too. Great. Oh, I bet he's killed a bunch of stuff with that spear. What's the right form here? Oh, I've cut up plenty of animals like that. They about to have some good eating. Okay, okay, okay. There you go. What are those? Is some testes? Yeah. I've had mountain oysters. Comment below if you've ever had mountain oysters, folks. If you know what mountain oysters are, you know if you've had them or not. Comment down below. I guarantee you one of you people has. I have. They're pretty good. What if a man decides that his, his gender identity is, is woman? A woman has its own duty, and a man has its own duty, and a lady cannot do the duty of a man, and a man cannot do a duty. Somebody's of a woman. making sense, finally. Can a man become a woman? No. No? No. What about a transgender? Okay. Transgender? No. No? It will look like to, if you want to become a lady but you're a man, you have something wrong in something your wrong. mind. Something wrong in your family, something wrong in you. I love how we finally, I love how we finally found some people that actually ain't mentally unstable and can give us a definitive answer. It's clear that gender ideology is a uniquely Western phenomenon. So where did all this come from? Probably Obama and his husband, Man Shell. <laughs> Creepy Joe and, and uh, his buddy, Obama the gay lover. Matt, I, I, want, I want to show this to you. You're a parent, right? Okay? It's perfectly normal for 10 years and up. Here's just one page I want you to they better see not here. Okay, hold the on. They better not be showing this to children. It's okay for children 10 and up? What the f... No. No, I'm done watching this. I, I ain't going to watch these people be pedophiles and shit. Hell no. No, I'm done. I'm done with all this nastiness. No. I love how Matt Walsh just shits on all these creepy people, man. I love how he embarrasses every one of these some bitches. I hope he keeps on doing it, man. Make them look like a bunch of stupid morons. Well, that's what they are. You can't fix stupid people. You just can't. So, tell me, do y'all know what a woman is? I know a bunch of people who don't know what a woman is. I know a bunch of people now that like hurting little children and cutting their of them at 10 years old that shouldn't even be legal them parents should be locked in prison same thing as the doctor who defiled their bodies like that comment down below if you think these people should suffer suffer as much as the kids have all right just because you cut your shit off don't mean you ain't a man there's no fucking way on earth i'm ever watching that bullshit again